Hey guys, it's Olga here and for today's healthy lunch I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite salads with a romantic twist since it's Valentine's Day just in a couple of days and everything but before we get started with the salad I have something to tell you so we have been getting to know each other for a little while now you know chatting online and everything but I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level and get to know each other a little bit better so this Friday this Valentine's Day I will be doing my first Q&A if you have a question for me make sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I will answer it on Friday I'm so so excited for this guys and I'm really looking forward to spending Valentine's Day with you guys because you are my Valentine's and I love you but for now let's get started with the salad today I'm going to use three different types of beets because I really love how colorful they make my salad look candy cane beet or striped beet golden beet and red beet which is most known I already have a video where I show you how I roast my beets so I'll put the link for it in the description box for now let's use some editing magic Ta-da! Roasted beet. By the way, if you're not a big fan of beets, some people find that beets taste like dirt a little bit. Try golden or striped beets. They have a more mellow, less earthy flavor. Personally, I love me some beets of any kind. When your beets are cool enough to handle, you want to peel the skin off. Then cut the beets into slices about half an inch. Do you see the stripes on the candy cane beet? That's why it's also called a striped beet. I think beets are beautiful. Now for the fun part. We're going to use this cookie cutter to cut out hearts. It's so cute. Kind of blends into my hand. Of course this is optional and you don't have to do it every time you make the salad, but I think it's a lovely touch, especially since the Valentine's Day is approaching. Next we're going to prepare a balsamic vinegar dressing. In a small bowl, let's combine balsamic vinegar a little bit of coconut sugar, salt and pepper. Give it a stir and then add olive oil. As an option, you can also mince a garlic cloth and add it to the dressing, but if you're making the salad for Valentine's Day and planning on doing some kissing later, maybe it's not such a great idea. So our dressing is done. If I'm taking the salad with me for lunch, this is how I would pack it. I'm putting a few handfuls of arugula leaves, then adding my beautiful beet hearts, some walnuts, dried cranberries, and a little bit of goat cheese. If you don't want to add the goat cheese but still want something creamy for the salad, I would add a few avocado slices. I packed the dressing in a separate container and add it right before I'm about to eat the salad. I think this is one good looking salad and trust me, it tastes as good as it looks. At home, I just serve it on a plate like so. I think it would make a great appetizer for a Valentine's Day dinner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel down below for my healthy lunch and snack ideas. Visit my blog at fablunch.com for exact measurements and directions of this recipe and all of the other recipes that I post on YouTube. I hope all of you guys are doing wonderfully. I am looking forward to reading your questions and answering them on Friday. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I got hair on my lip with a healthy house. Subscribe to my channel down below for my healthy lunch and snacks.